What's bracking, guys? Welcome to episode three of this Aston Villa save in Football Manager 2020. I've really been enjoying playing this game for you guys here on YouTube. Obviously, it doesn't have the most views or anything like that compared to growth tests uh, and all that that I would do back in the day, but I'm really trying to get back to just posting stuff I enjoy. You can see the beautiful Joshua Chalupawana there. That is my real face. I mean, tons of swag, and <laughs> that's the type of man manager you want to see um, at the helm of Aston Villa. Lovely um, side they are, historical side in English football. But we'll get into the results from the games I played off camera. So I did have a very good win um, against Arsenal after we kind of were struggling. We've been pretty kind of inconsistent in, ch in general, um, I would say. Uh, we had a tough string of matches, to be honest. After the Arsenal game, obviously, we won that 2-0. They did have a good victory against West Ham um, and just a 4-1 four, four uh, victory. Of course, West Ham is a very, very talented side, but they just really don't have too much to them. So some uh, good performances really all the rounds. But uh, Hurhan has been incredible with all the key passes each game. Our fullbacks really contribute a lot also in the attack. Then Trezget had a great game with a chance created three key passes and assist a goal. Uh, Grealish was all over the, the sheet as well with a an assist and a goal. Then Wesley with an assist and a goal also. So good performance all around there. Uh, and then after that, we had a pretty tough string of games coming here against Liverpool uh, lost 3-0 we didn't actually play too bad possession wise we had 61% possession it was a whole matchup so they may have to do something to do with it again Hurahan has so many key passes each game uh, so contributes a lot in that man unfortunately then the really Trezeguet and Grealish could not get too much going McGinn struggled in this match also and fortunately a broken leg happened in this this game uh, so target is going to be out for be, I believe it's three to five months now. I did send him to specialist, paid the extra money. Unfortunately, it's a it's a tough in injury. We really have no depth at, at left back. So it's either I put Mings at left back um, or I have someone kind of playing out of position. Decided to play Courtney House at left back because I don't want to really ruin the chemistry between Ingles and Mings at the moment. Uh, and he has to play as like a no-nonsense fullback, and that kind of goes away from what we're trying to do. Uh, but we'll see how he performs. They're obviously, a young player could still grow a little bit and prove as a fullback, and he's going to get plenty of game time. We definitely need to try to target another left back um, in the upcoming transfer window also. We're really close to the transfer transfer window in general. Uh, and then a 1-3 loss to Tottenham. We played very well in this match also. You can see uh, Wesley did respond after De La Liga goal. Um, but of course they have talented players like Bergvine. He completely dominated the game, honestly. Ali had a very good uh, match with the brace. Kane as well set up quite a bit with some key passes and assists. But not too bad from us in the midfield. Again, we're creating still quite a few key passes. Nice goal from Wesley. I believe it was off, off a corner kick, but unfortunately could not grab the win in the end. Then a 1-1 one, one draw. A Yeah, just one all here. So the ABA scored a very nice goal, but Wesley continues to score quite a bit. Um, and El Ghazi came on off the bench to grab an assist for us. As the Trezeguet again has been pretty off and on uh, for us. So El Ghazi came on, grabbed a nice assist, uh, key pass there to help us grab that draw at, at home. We probably um, could have done a lot better in this matchup. 57% possession, um, but could not really create as much as we would like. Then, actually pretty surprising, you just had 2-0 loss to Manchester City. We were able to help hold on quite a bit. Uh, here in this match of course again this time I did try house initially at, at center back but he was all over the place so pretty much switched him actually in the middle of the match I believe um, and that's pretty much what I decided to do there some injuries again El he has been off and on tons of injuries just really poor performance in general honestly well, they had most of the ball but we held on didn't get destroyed there you can have a little bit um, of confidence from that but then we did bounce back at home with a 2-1 victory against Leicester a brace from Wesley, an 89th minute goal. Good performance all around. Um, not, no one was really completely terrible, but we have had a bit of a, a drop in form from McGinn, who was incredible at the start of the season. Unfortunately, has not had the same performance as Wesley. Has been doing a, a great job there. I mean, Grealish is creating a lot more also. Before he really, I remember before his match against Arsenal, he had like one or two key passes the whole season. So he's really bounced back and he's getting himself into shape. Norwich had been a surprise here. They're like eighth, like six, somewhere from sixth to eighth or something like that. Um, they play very nice football. They're at home, grab some goals against us. They did create uh, a few chances. Um, did, we did not create as much as I, I would have liked here, but Grealish did do a good job grabbing assists. 
having some key passes. McGinn played a little bit better in this match. Horahan this time struggling. And Samata did play because I believe it was Wesley had a bit of a knock. Um, he, had an in, he, had, he had like a cold or something it was that actually put him out of this match or a little bit of a, like a gash. House has been pretty off and on stepping into that left back role. He's had a couple of good games. He was very good against Leicester. It was not bad against City, Everton. Um, kind of dropped off a little bit against Southampton also. So he's obviously playing out of position, so we got to really try to find a left back. I'm trying to scout one, find a guy who can fit our system. I think once we get to into that transfer window, we're really going to have to just maybe loan someone in to at least give us some cover um, for a few months here and there. So getting to, I think it's just one more match here. You can see Southampton, 1-0 victory. Uh, did was pretty even. Southampton's not having a very good season, uh, so we could have done a lot better. Did not really create much at all. Uh, you can see the, the key passes came from our right back and our center back, uh, and the goal did come from El Ghazi in the 75th minute. So we really off and on, it's it's kind of just mid-table form, which is um, that's not bad for us, considering we're, at, we're, ten, we're in 12th place right now. 24 points, 8 away from a European spot. And we are actually 13 away from relegation zone at the moment. So we're doing a lot better. Sort of like to see a lot better performance against a team like Southampton. Though now we're play, going to be playing against Burnley in this episode. We may actually play three matches, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, that's what I'm thinking in this, this episode. We'll be playing three matches uh, against Burnley, Arsenal, and Newcastle. The next episode will kind of finish January and maybe recap some of the transfers that I possibly have made. So... We will get into the match against Burnley now, boys. Actually, we do also have match congestion. I forgot to mention that. This is, you know, the Boxing Day. Uh, kind of, It's a Boxing Day matchup. So, and then we have a, just one day's rest between the game against Arsenal. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think this match I'm going to be putting in a first first uh, choice squad. And then maybe Arsenal will, will do a lot of rotation. I think we really need to focus on beating these teams like Burnley and Newcastle and um, try to rotate against Arsenal in the, in the next match would be fine, I think. So we'll see how that goes, though. Uh, we'll, we'll get into the matchup now. All right, so here is the team right here. Pretty much kind of the usual team we've been seeing this season so far. I did actually take out um, Hurahan. Pretty, pretty gassed, it looks like, being kind of on the lower conditioning at the moment. Gonna move Luis into the box to box midfield spot right now and give McGinn a go in the deep line playmaker role. And of course, if they don't perform, we can uh, we can sub out. But um, uh, we really need to win this matchup. So I'm trying to have as close to a first choice squad as possible. Of course, not of course not the best when we don't have uh, an amazing fullback out there. House is definitely a center back. But uh, like I said before, Mings and Ingles have the chemistry at the moment. I kind of want to. I don't want to mess with that. So we'll get into this matchup now. My beautiful Chalupa love. All right, so we do get the kickoff here. Try to build out the back. He has actually improved a little bit more as a passer, but he did put Ingles in a tough situation as soon as, I said, as soon as I said that. I mean, his passing was actually horrific, but I guess maybe that he's more like in a, in good fit, better fitness-wise. Maybe that helps out a bit more. But uh, 15 minutes in, no highlights. That's not good. We need to see some more chances being created. Nakamba going to hit that right at the keeper, missing that left foot of Hurahan right there for sure. And now do have the ball here trying to play out the back. Nakamba has a little space in the midfield. Just take the space, baby. Take that space. What are you doing? Okay. I really want to develop, develop Louise also, but like I said before, with Hurahan having such an amazing ability of creating in the midfield, I don't know if exactly if I want to ruin it and could have a chance on the counter here, but McGinn does a good job uh, cleaning that out. Trezget. Does get that pass off at the last second, it looks like. Ball played here to Trezget on that wing to Wesley near post, and he, he hits that one in. A great near post finish, man. And that you love to see that. Wesley, 12 goals this season, man. He's been incredible. I think after we finish the games, we'll kind of recap the, the season so far stats-wise because we are having a wonderful performance so far this season from Wesley. Of course, in comparison to real life, he's not been as amazing as uh, some may have hoped, but... Uh, a great finish after a nice ball in from Trezget, so love to see that. 30 minutes in, a chance on this corner. Grealish putting it in. And Wesley, oh, Nakamba hits it right at the goalkeeper after the rebound. Had a good chance there. Also, leave he and his playing his former squad here. House, looks like he may have picked up a dead leg or something. That's not good. Uh, his, our fitness obviously isn't the best. This is really dangerous for us. I really wish that English football... Would it be like I'd actually have winter breaks? That would be nice. 
A po very poor pass here. Oh, no. Is this it? Great job. Great safety and hand the clear out. Not sure who it was that made that mistake, but we got to be a lot more careful in these these chances. I mean, Nakamba, a great job getting that. Cause I think Rodriguez actually would have probably had a good opportunity to make something happen after that. Wesley, good hold up play. Switch to Trezget. Out here on the wing. Oh, press that. Okay, still got the ball. Luis McGinn. Tries to get back out on this wing again. Play the ball to McGinn. And a good effort. Stings that right in the hands of Pope. That was a really good effort. Powerful effort looked like even this 2D look. But uh, McGinn a chance here on this wing. Oh, not the best ball. Got to be more careful. Looks like we have a counterattack opportunity. Rodriguez back on the wing. Playing the ball back in the middle. Great job, Mings, getting that interception. Very close now. Chance here in the free kick. Grealish going to put it in. Oh, Nakamba put the ball back in. Uh, and just a great save from Pope. I thought he was going to score that. And this time again, Wesley is in really a terror on these corner kicks. Um, he scored quite a few goals on corners. He got free, could not unfortunately head that uh, the way he would have liked. Heaton, please be careful here. Please be careful, guys. I get nervous because we can play at the back, but some of the decision-making I've seen from the team <laughs> worries me a bit from time to time. I don't really want two people pressing the keeper in that instant, and that nearly <laughs> costs us um, as we go into the half. One, they'll just got to really keep things that we have all the possession, obviously. You know, maybe I might up the tempo a little bit more. Honestly, I'm thinking about maybe trying to play a little bit higher tempo. We shall see. Obviously, I, I want another goal. Uh, that would be ideal here in this second half to grab one more. Um, might have to make a change or two. I mean, House is pretty gassed. I'm not what sure I'm going to do for the Arsenal match. We have to play a pretty rotated side. All right, Burnley trying to play out here. Oh, I thought Grealish should be able to get that. House, man, he's, he's gassed. You can see him struggling a little bit. Oh, just... I think that was just wide. House trying to play the ball over the top. Press it. Oh, no. Second ball could kill us. Would. <sighs> Great save from Heaton getting that near post. Very close here. 60th minute. We actually are playing fairly well all around. If you make a sub, it might have to be taking off Grealish because he's pretty gassed also. I mean, you might need some fresh let some other legs to help out on that wing. I think I'm going to take off Grealish. He's not playing particularly well. Move. Tries to get to the other wing. And I think we'll bring on... Yeah, we'll go with El Ghazi. We'll go with El Ghazi. Mm. Got some... Obviously, Douglas Luiz is pretty tired. I think I might actually sub on Drinkwater. Yeah, I'm actually gonna sub on drink water. He's a little too tired for my for my taste here. So 80 first minute chance here maybe. McGinn, good switch to house. Actually takes the effort on goal. He in with the ball here, eighty second minute. Come on, let's play this nice out the back. McGinn tries to get back to El Ghazi. Come on, just find the last pass. House, put the ball in. One more. Tries to get another. Oh, Drinkwater had the chance. Drinkwater could have maybe sweated that one more in the box. He takes the effort on goal. Unfortunately, does not work out for him. It's a pretty nervy matchup here. Oh, that might have been a foul. Hmm. A little more composure means. Oh, what a save, Heaton. Heaton has really saved us in some of these moments. That was a huge save from him against his former side. McGinn, got one minute left. Come on, guys. Playing at the back. Wesley takes an effort. That's a corner. That's going to really help us kill some time here. Took about a good 25 seconds off the, off the clock, it looks like. I would say, yeah, 30 now. Ball in. Angles. It's no mistakes, guys. No mistakes here. Back to Heaton. That's a good clear. That's fine. Ooh, that's a, that's always scary seeing those little over-the-top top balls right there. That is a little through-ball attempt, and that did not work out. Should be the final kick of the game. A 1-0 victory. Did have a lot of possession. Probably should try to create a little bit more. 
I might up the tempo a little bit, honestly, I'm thinking. Well done, guys. That was a good win for us. It was, as we move on now into that Arsenal match, there's going to be plenty of rotation. I'm, uh, we, we have to rotate. I do have, like, one youth left back. Courtney House is injured with the pole groin also. Ah, oh, man. We are... I don't know what we're going to do left back-wise um, for some of these matches. Like, I have a, a youngster, Dom Dominic Revin, I believe is his name who will, will step in, but we'll see what happens. Well, we'll get back into things once I get to this Arsenal ma match, boys. All right, so this is going to be a tough matchup, obviously, against Arsenal. A very rotated side. Heaton wants to be playing, but Alamadi will be starting at fullback. Um, Konsa will be at, at center back. Of course, a very promising young center back he is. Then this youngster, uh, Dominic Revin is his name. Uh, he's not awful, but we really don't have any other options at the moment, so... We definitely are prioritizing kind of a, a loaning in a bat, a kind of a utility defender, maybe another center back or left back, uh, someone who could probably possibly play both and is at a higher level would be awesome to have. But we may actually keep him on the side and, and let him progress a little bit more. We'll see how he plays in this match at least. Actually, gonna have Mings playing fullback in this one. Uh, he's not bad going forward, so I have to do it. Uh, I would just much rather think I have him. I don't know. It's it's. I have to see actually how it goes during the game. I might end up switching them during the match. Then Luis is actually going to step back in in this match, um, and he's going to play in that defense mid role, kind of sitting deep. Then Drinkwater will actually get a start here. I, I don't like using players on loan for the most part. I'll make an exception for him because you do need some help in the midfield, and I do want to give Nakamba as those McGinn a rest there. So Horahan will be back in the side, kind of looking to make things happen, uh, try to um, basically make plays. He's a deep line playmaker. El Ghazi will be on the right wing. Jota will be on the left. Samata will get a start. Another pretty good young striker. He's pretty not that you know dissimilar. He's pretty similar to Wesley, and he, he's pretty good physically. Uh, nice little pressing forward he is. So he actually had, grabbed a goal recently. Also, he's mostly played on the off the bench, um, but did grab a goal on a recent start. So that was promising to see. So we'll end up going with this. Hopefully, he doesn't go completely terrible. Uh, obviously, a lot of players aren't fit, but I cannot risk losing some of my key players. Um, just pray nothing happens to Mings and Heaton. But uh, with that, we will get this match going here. Obviously, Arsenal has a very talented side. But I think, why is Mings stress? I just said we're the underdogs, man. You're fourth in the Premier League form table after a good, decent run. Does it help ahead of kickoff? Sure, that helps. No comment, no comment. Yes, we need to rotate. It's pretty much all it is. All right. They have a pretty strong squad out there still, too. But uh, obviously, I do not want to risk it, man. We'll see how we play defensively. We have a lot of players who aren't really fit out there. Uh, this already looks like it could be bad. Xhaka, a good effort on goal, but he didn't get to that. If we can r walk away from here, walk away from the Emirates with a draw. Oh, what a ball in. Oh, that was actually very close. That was a good ball. Um, and just, oh, just completely beat for pace. A good goal from Sokka. This probably was about what I expect to happen in this match. You've got a very slow right back. Um, Sokka just ran right at him, completely burned Al Alamedi right there. And also, I think that was Konsa in the end. Didn't really do enough to help out. So that was bad. Five, minute, five minutes in, we're down 1-0. I probably could have gone counterattacking, but I want to stay true. Try to play this one out. Try to keep some possession, but... Doesn't look like it's going to happen here all that much. Got some guys who are nervous. Revan, obviously, first Premier League start is probably going to be a bit nervous. But uh, we'll see how, how the rest of this match goes. If I should maybe make a switch along the back line. Samadhi here, Alamedi, Luis, Konsa. Looks like we have something going in the midfield. Oh, what a ball. Samata. Oh, a great ball from Luis. Hit that over the top. Samanta gets to it and finishes that near post. He's been very effective for me this season. Obviously, Wesley has been incredible. But having two solid strikers really helps out. I just hope he'll be happy with this kind of this backup role in the long run. Uh, he's another guy. I mean, I think we played like they paid like $11 million for him before I took over, obviously. Um, so that's great to see us tying things up here, getting that equalizer about 23 minutes in. 32nd minute, 1-1. One, one. Rohan's going to put this ball in to Konsa. Oh, that hits off the post. 
Near that should have been a goal, man. We're we're actually taking it to him right now. We're we're taking advantage of some of our chances. If we would put that one in, it's been two shots. If he could have had that go in, that actually would have been pretty incredible, to be honest. Going to with the ball here, Jota. Oh, Lacazette here into some space. Revin. Oh, what a ball. Oof. Cavallos. Saka, great save from he and then tip that over the bar. So 1-1 one, 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 one now, a 40th minute chance on this corner. El Ghazi has some space here on this wing. What is he going to do with this? Come on, baby. A good ball in. Kind of a big switch. That was a gigantic switch, actually. Luis trying to switch the play. I think that actually went out of bounds. El Ghazi picks up a yellow card here. Konza, Hurrahan, Samata loses the ball over the top. Ooh, he was just impeded a little bit, maybe it looked like. Oh, a bad pass there from El Ghazi. A very bad pass. Great job. I think that was from Revin. Jota over the top here. Samata does have the pace here for, for this. Come on, what are you doing, baby? Oh, hits that right at the goalkeeper. Maybe try to put it in for a sweat. Who knows what happens there? That's actually some very good play from our guys right here. I'm, I'm very excited to see what's going on. But into some space, the number 10. Luis is a great job winning that tackle, putting that ball out of play. So... First half, and this is a very promising match so far, actually, with a, a rotated side. And happy with your performance so, for performance so far. Keep so far. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. I think Revin might end up getting a start in the next match also. We'll see what happens with House. Um, I'm asking a lot for Mings and Revin here to try to keep, obviously, these talented attackers on Arsenal at bay. Good job right there. The defense has been pretty solid, honestly. Um, Revin, obviously, 6.5, 6.5, not the best rating so far. But considering his, the level of play he's at right now, he's not playing <laughs> completely terrible. So that is, is nice to see. Wingers aren't really doing a fair amount at the moment. Good job, El Ghazi. Come on, baby. As soon as I say that, please reverse jinx. Oh, no. And as Okay, this actually was a genuine jinx, I think. Oh, terrible finish. No composure there in the end. And uh, we somehow get away after that terrible mistake from Ogazi with no goal. Ogazi here out in this wing. Put the ball in, baby. Put the ball in. Oh, damn. They've got some space here. They've got some space. That's a good switch of play. Heaton with the big save near post. And good work again from our defense in that tight little spot. Our midfield is not performing super well. You can see Horahan, not the best reading. Um, I might move to the two box to box midfielder look. We'll see what happens. Luis has been very good. I honestly think I'm gonna. I don't like risking a combo, but he's not the like lowest fitness guy at the moment. So I might have to put him. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring him on here. I'll let him get a go as a deep lying midfielder. I actually, might even put him on this advanced playmaker. Man, he's making things happen. I'll put him on deep lying for now because he, I mean, he performed well in that role. Seventy-fifth minute, Nakama subbing in. Hopefully, this change doesn't screw us over. I'm trying to play out the back here. Heaton, Jota, Nakamba, ball into space. Samanta has the pace to get to that. Back in the middle. Oh, what is that? A like first time, just complete. Rocket of the pat No, what what happened right there? That is an incredible pass. But that was like a first time pass. Completely accurate switch. What oh my god. Okay guys. That's un that's unfortunate, really. That's very unfortunate actually. I just a, a peach of a pass. Konza here. A combo. Oh guys, you need some space. Back to drink water. Mings oh, loses the ball right there. Over the top. And that's another goal. Oh, man. Uh, we we could have actually had this game. Could have actually had this game. Not the best performance of some of the guys, obviously. Um, I'm just going to bring on uh, Borja in. Play some proper footy, mate. 4-4-2. Four, four, Not the best performance from drink water either. Just uh, we actually had some some. Uh, Louise was incredible this game. That assist was beautiful. Samantha had a good game. Our defense wasn't completely awful, but obviously not the first choice. And it kind of showed from time to time. So looks like a three-one loss. It's going to be obviously we had a very good match against them.
I think the first half was very solid. We took advantage of our chance of one of our chances. Um, but here, I think that high line may have killed us. Probably could have switched out of that high line. Maybe had a bit of a better performance in the second half. Something to maybe think about tactically uh, for now on. Could just maybe try to sit back and take that draw. But it's all good. It's all good. Whistle should blow just about now. I'm very, very um, happy with the way Douglas Louise plays that played though. Because honestly, McGinn and Hurahan have not been at the highest level recently, but I'm happy with what I saw with some of these guys. Okay. Relaxed and motivated. I like to have my team relaxed. I like to have them nice and relaxed. All right. I actually think this is where I'm going to end the episode. Um, so I do want to look over the competitions where we're at in the table along with the along with the uh, kind of the stats here so far in the season where some of our players rank um, as far as goals go and all that. Uh, I was thinking of doing a three three kind of recorded game episode, but I think this is good for now. I was hoping uh, we could get a better performance in that second match, but it uh, wasn't meant to be, I guess. wasn't meant to be. So we'll have to change things around, obviously, for those matches coming. We do have an FA Cup game as well. Um, but you can see where we're at on the table. We are in a pretty good position. Like I said before, 11th place. If we would have beaten Arsenal, we could have jumped in front of them. That's, that's what sucked. They did still have a game in hand, but uh, this is pretty solid so far, guys. I mean, we're 12 points away from relegation, and we are just, was that, possibly six points, a maximum of nine points away from a Euro European spot. So we definitely have to address some areas in the squad. Um, definitely need another left back. Uh, top goal scorer is tied f with three players. Um, you can see Wesley tied with Rashford and Harry Kane for 12 goals. That is awesome to see one of our players on that list. Uh, nobody on the assist at the moment. Best at hitting target, actually, Wesley is close to that. Most key passes. Hurahan was on the list before, but he's really dropped off recently. I remember last time I looked, he was there. Most dribbles per game. Was distance so El Ghazi and Grealish really put a lot of work in on the wing. I'd like to see that like that work rate, baby. Most key tackles, Ming's very high up there. Seven, I think, tied with six with quite a few other players. Eleven key tackles. Uh, we actually have not conceded too much either. I think our defense has been pretty strong. Obviously, we did change from Reina to Heaton, so that actually might not be uh, the best way to gauge the stats. But most interceptions, Tyrone Ming's key headers, Tyrone Ming's. You can see Pepe Reina had two mistakes leading the goals, and that makes them tie with quite a few other players. Mings leads in headers one also. So, hey, man, we got some good players. And I think we really have a good solid squad going forward. I think eventually what I really want to see is we need that left, left back spot obviously coming up a little bit more, a little bit more experience there. So we keep Mings in that center back role. But Revan really did not have a terrible game. He did not have a terrible game. I give him that. Made his Premier League debut. 6.6 6 is not awful. Won a header. <laughs> Didn't really do too much else, honestly. But um, that, that's not too bad. Obviously, considering the team we had out there, a pretty promising performance. But you just definitely need some more production from some of my wingers. I think I really want to look for a, a good young winger to help out, to come off the bench. Um, because sometimes Grealish and Trezeguet aren't really too... Um, consistent either so it's something we got to think about I think like I said before probably pick up at the end of January for the next episode so I can show you guys all the transfers uh, along with just those games there and play these two games probably against Watford and Brighton is what I'm thinking so I think that's what we'll we'll end up going with here um, with, but yeah thank you guys for all the support thank you for love and support on this series any, any other suggestions for what I should do tactically series wise content wise let me know guys i really appreciate all the love and support from people i know my channel isn't popping like it was before and that's okay because i really just enjoy making videos sharing what i do here to you guys on the internet but with that thank you guys for tuning in hit that like button i love you i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later